Now to find the area of a trapezium, we need to first know what a trapezium is. It has one set of parallel lines, okay? And then the other two sides have nothing special going for them. They can be any length and they're not parallel with anything else or perpendicular to anything else. Now, the easiest way to understand this is if I was to duplicate this trapezium, in other words, if I was to cut it out, but cut out two of them, then I could take one of them and I could actually place it around, turn it around upside down like this. Imagine bringing it around and I could, let's do it with another color. And I could bring it around like this so that if we label the short side A and the long side B, then I could bring it around so that this other B the long side sat up here, okay, and then the short side would be down here, okay. Now what I've actually made is one giant parallelogram now. Can I be sure? Yes, the bottom, the base is A plus B long, and the top is also A plus B long. So they're both the same length. So I've made a huge parallelogram. Now, we know already that the area of a parallelogram is base times height. Okay, but what is the height? Well, if we had the height labelled here, and remember it has to be the perpendicular height, not the slanty height, has to meet at right angles with the base, then what I've actually found here is the area of two trapeziums, haven't I? Because my massive parallelogram is twice as big as the trapezium. It's made up of two of them. So what I'm saying here is the area, this is area of two trapeziums, let's just write two trap, is equal to base times height. Now what is the base? Well, the base is A plus B. So let's put that in instead of B. We've got A plus B, and we have to multiply that by the height. Now, when we've looked at algebra before, we've found that it's rather tidier to write our height at the front, simply because when we're multiplying one thing by some other things in brackets, it sort of just looks neater out there. So you can see we've got the base times the height. But there's a problem. We've just found the area of this entire parallelogram, and we only want this half, the trapezium bit. Okay, so we need to halve it. So what we do there is we just say, let's divide that by two. And that gives us the formula for one trapezium instead of two. And that's our formula that we're going to use. 